Hello everybody, welcome to Technic Tuesday. Today we're going to be making this double Z Z gatefold card. It has two Z's, two Z's, two gates, and it opens like this. So we are going to be using the Country Floral Lane Suite. We'll be using the stamp set, the punch, which if you buy them together, it's a 10% discount for the bundle. We'll be using the sequins and we'll be using the paper. So without further ado, let's get started and I'll show you how we make it. It's quite a few moving pieces, literally, to it. So we're going to start with a piece of the Sweet Sorbet cardstock and it is 11 by four and a quarter. It's scored at two and three and three quarters and two and three and three quarters from both ends. I'll put it in the scorer and then just turned it around. So then when you fold them back on themselves, you get this little, which is where your Z's and your gates come into it. So that's that one. And this was the one I was going to use. I will be honest and say, that when I did the sample, you'll see it doesn't quite meet. So I did this one earlier, I cheated basically. And I just made sure that it went together up to the middle, which is what it's supposed to do. I did the scores, I folded them in gently. And then the best way to do it is actually just to make them meet in the middle here, because this is the part that you can see. And then when you flip it over, burnish all the folds where they land, because like I say, this is the most important section. So that's it. 11 by four and a quarter, two and three and three quarters, two and three and three quarters, folded into the middle, burnish them outwards. That's the piece. That's the mechanism. It all sits onto another piece, which is five and a half by four and a quarter it's basically a quarter sheet of cardstock and that's going to sit here then we need some designer series paper and we've got two strips that are cut at four inches by one inch and then we've got two pieces that are cut at four inches by one and three quarters they go on the front panel and these ones tuck down the side then we need some interior pieces this is a piece of basic white and it is four by three and three quarters goes on the inside here for your inside message. And then the one that goes on the front, there's three pieces. There's four by two and three quarters cut out of the sorbet. Oh my gosh. Let me see if I can remember all the directions. There's three and three quarters by two and a half, which is cut out of a mint macron, which matches all the colors in the designer series paper. And then the little piece of basic white, which is what we're going to attach and stamp on, is three and a half by two and a quarter. It's basically just a quarter inch smaller at every turn. And then I needed a piece of the designer series paper. The designer series paper is a fabulous pack. It's just fabulous. Country floral lanes. And it comes with a whole sheet like this. And then, of course, the punch matches these shapes exactly and you can punch them out. So that's what that's what you can clearly say I've done already. And this is what we're going to cut the pieces out of to make this ooh, get in. So you just line up the shapes, giving yourself a nice white border around and punch. Thank you very much. And I don't know, how many can you get? You can get obviously quite a few of the obvious ones that are the full shapes, but there's places where you've got extra leaves or you don't have this heart and you might want a heart from somewhere else. But believe me, that's an awful lot of punchable pretty hearts that you can get out of one sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock. So. Let me just put these carefully over here so not halfway through going, ah, I've lost my heart. So this is how we assemble it. So we'll do all the stamping first and then we'll just assemble it all at once. So we're going to put the hearts on. So 
get some adhesive and just put some sticky on the back. So we'll just lightly tap that down, not really put it down fully. And then I'm going to tuck the leaves underneath a little bit, one on each side. And then put the last little heart on the front of to one side. And then we're going to use the with love stamp so we'll take the sweet sorbet ink and we'll stamp with love in the bottom front corner we'll then take the inside piece and we will do happy valentine's day at the top and then we'll pop a little couple of the hearts down in the bottom corner just to give it a little bit of extra. So that's all the stamping done so we can put the ink off to one side so elbows don't go in or fingertips or other such things that I have been known to do. And then what we'll do is we'll take the sequins which are the pastel adhesive backed sequins. They're all part of the same suite and we will just attach a few let me just get the sample out so i'll see if i put them in more or less the same place i mean you know it's bling who doesn't like a bit of bling you oops you can put it anywhere you want to really it just gives it a little bit of extra i feel come on my little love come and belong to my card so we'll pop those off to one side and now we can get building our card. So what we need to do is put the two pieces of the designer series, the one inch strips, on the four and a quarter by five and a half piece. Oops. And you just need to leave it like a little hair's breadth away from the edge. It really wants to go to the edge, but not all the way, just so you can see a teeny tiny sliver of the red. Ooh, can't remember which one that was. Let's see if we can match them up. No, it doesn't. Mm. I cut them all from one piece, so I might as well have them oriented the right way. Okay, and we'll do the same on the other side. Pop those in like that. And then what we need to do is we need to put this between those two pieces and center them up. So we'll put some adhesive on the back. It's quite tricky actually to get them in the right place because the front overhangs where the back is. So it's really a, a trial and error. It's one of those, oh, please don't put my head in the shot. Shot. It's not too hard. It's just, it's just not easy. There we go. It's actually better, I think, if you stand it up on its end, because then you know you've got the, these edges will be even, and then you can eyeball it equally between the two, and then when you're happy with where it is, then go ahead and press it down. Give it a good press where the adhesive is. So that wasn't, that wasn't actually too painful. So then we'll stick the inside in. It's looking fabulous already. And then these ones, I actually, like I said, with the two pieces, they're so far apart and you don't really see the effect so much. These ones I did actually cut out of this, you know the same piece so what i'm going to do is because they're closer i'm actually going to attach them so there's a flow so we'll turn them over like this i mean it doesn't matter it's not that heavy of a print it's not like there were hearts or stripes or anything but if you see you've got them 
where they go and pop these ones on in the same place and if you wanted to be particular you could have actually done them that way and these ones would have matched but again the edges don't come close to each other it's not like ones in the past where you really have to have a flow of the designer series paper so that's the designer series paper on then what we'll do is we will add the layer of the mint macron onto the sweet sorbet and then we'll put the stamped basic white layer on top of that and then those of you who've watched my videos those of you who are my subscribers i can see you nodding already when we come to put it on you only want to attach it to one side so in order to not stick it down onto itself flip it over so obviously the right way up flip it over and then if you put glue as far as you, this is as far as you want to go so if you don't exceed that visual guide and you put the glue only on where you know it's going to fit on this half and you come to close it down and you attach it between the two I don't know why I'm pressing on this side force I have it I guess that's so funny but you put it on and look, my little hostess information has disappeared out of view. I'm actually trying a new technique for my overhead camera. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it's the video's here and it's playing, but some of it definitely needs tweaking. So that's it. So as you will see, there is no sticky here because we measured it carefully. It fits snugly. The designer series paper for the little... Sh actually, there's only that one flower, really, isn't there? That you can actually see all fits together. But it uses the suite, it uses the stamps, it uses the sequins, the designer series paper and everything. So I think that's a rather lovely little technique. So that's the original. That's the one. Snap! We've got two exactly the same. So that's rather pleasing. If you like what you see, please subscribe. If you ring the bell, you'll find out when it's a Tuesday because a little bell will go off and go, oh, Alison's posted a video. If you want to make a comment, please do. If you have a question, please ask it. I'm always out there to help people. And last but not least, thanks so much for watching.